Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and I think it's fair to say that the last couple of months in the iOS screen recording scene have been pretty eventful. So let's try and round up those big players, where they currently sit and what could potentially happen in the future. Now let me preface everything I say in this video by saying the information is correct as of time of recording, which is Friday the 7th of July, but as you well know, things rapidly change in the iOS screen recording scene. And we'll start this screen recording update with everybody's favourite screen recorder, or at least mine, Airshow. For a good long while, Airshow 061, the one that lets us record and is of pretty good quality, has been unavailable to free downloaders. But thanks to App Valley, it is back and it seems to be on a regular and consistent basis. So what you need to do is point your Safari browser to appvalley.vip and download that application and then you'll need to trust the certificates by going to General, Profile and Device Management, finding the certificate that it's currently attached to and then trusting it. Do bear in mind that these certificates will and often do get revoked, which means that you have to delete the application and reinstall it once the certificate is signed. But once you've done all that, you should be able to go back to the home screen and launch App Valley like any other application. Now, App Valley has a whole host of other stuff, including hacked applications and paid for games, none of which I support on this channel, let me stress. I'm only interested in the free applications which have always been free and Airshow is one of them. To find it, tap on the library section of App Valley, then on the apps section and halfway down this screen you will find Airshow where you simply tap get to download the application. It looks as if App Valley uses a universal certificate for all its applications so you shouldn't need to trust Airshow again but just in case you do, go to settings, profile and device management and find a certificate attached to Airshow. So why do I recommend Airshow above all of the screen recorders? Well put simply, it's the most reliable one, very rarely do you get a corrupted file. It also produces the highest frame rate screen recordings and the audio quality, despite the fact it has to record through the microphone, is generally good. Airshow doesn't have many bugs either, although there is one quite big one. And that's whenever you do a screen recording, when you first play it back, it will look all blurry and distorted. But you can fix this by putting it into a video editor and then re-encoding it. There is a guide on this on screen right now, so check that out if you need to. Unfortunately, Airshow does have a limited shelf life because version 061, the only version that really records well, doesn't work on iOS 11 and the developers won't be updating this any further, so in a couple of months time we won't be able to use Airshow at all. Our next screen recorder is super easy to find because you can get it from exactly the same place which is App Valley and the screen recorder is called Everycord. You should find Everycord on the front page of App Valley, simply install it just like you did with Airshow and it should use the same certificate as App Valley so no need to go into the profile and device management. When it comes to Everycord as a screen recorder there are a lot of pros and cons and we'll start with the cons first. Every person's user experience of this application seems to be completely different. Judging from the comments I get on my videos, there is a small minority who have absolutely no problem with Evercord, but the vast majority report numerous bugs. I'll start with my bugs first, which seems to be the slow motion recording, whereby if you record 15 seconds of video, you'll end up with a 30 second video with the audio playing at normal speed and completely out of sync, which makes it an unusable screen recorder. Also in the latest version, it simply doesn't output any sound or record it, which of course is another huge problem, you're only getting half of the recording experience. Others report that the application bombs out before you even start a recording and that final recordings never actually render so after a 10 minute recording you're left with nothing which can be very frustrating. And one more thing, this application has been in development for almost a year and it still doesn't work. The question is, will it ever work properly? Having said all this, the developers are tirelessly working to make this all work. They are taking development through into iOS 11 and the features they promise for version 2 look very enticing but will any of it ever work? That is the big question. Next up on the list is Visorec. Not many people's first choice, but it is a good alternative backup when other screen recorders are down. The place you need to go for this one is Visorec.com. Now, as long as that download button is green on the website, you should be able to download the application because sometimes Visorec do remove the download link and I think it's to protect their certificate from too many downloads because as far as I'm aware, Visorec has only gone down once as a revoked certificate 
which is a good thing. It's a good backup, often available as long as you have it downloaded. In terms of screen recording quality, this is almost on a par with Airshow. It has good frame rate, sharp image, and relatively good audio sync. One thing it does better than Airshow, and really intelligently, is that it actually re-encodes the video as soon as you stop recording, so you should have a video that you can play back as soon as it's finished. Every COD does the same thing by the way, just not as reliably. It's a pretty stable screen recorder too, I can't think of any bugs off the top of my head. But we do have one massive Achilles heel when it comes to Visorec. You can record for as long as you want to with Visorec, but you have to transfer that video from the application to your photos, and the default is one minute. In order to increase that time limit, you have to watch videos, each of which are 15 seconds, which give you 30 seconds more save time. And every time you save one video to your photos, it resets back to one minute. Ugh. So yeah, in terms of cons, this is a bit of a deal breaker. You can buy the application for $10 to remove those adverts, but with so many free alternatives, that's a bit of a hard sell. Also, as of time of recording, Visorec doesn't work at all on iOS 11, although the developers do inform me that this will be fixed by the time of the official release. Oh, and one more thing about Visorec that a lot of people have asked me about, in order to delete videos from the video list, simply swipe to the left and then a delete button will appear. Now this next screen recorder is a little more left field in approach, but ironically it's actually the only legitimate screen recorder that's available on the App Store. However you start the screen recording by going to the website on a Safari browser and that is vidi, v -I -D -I -H, dot com. Once on their website it will ask you to install a profile which then uses VPN to do the screen recording, so it's kind of like screen recording from the web. You kick off a recording in very much the same way you do on Airshow. You bring up a control center, go to airplay mirroring, and there should be options there for different resolutions. Now the free version of this is limited to two minutes, but the other funky thing about VD is that you can live stream to different platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, again for two minutes on the free version. But as I say, all of this is legitimate. They have an application in the App Store to help you download the videos and do some editing, so, as opposed to Airshow, Evrecord, Visorec, all of these ones that are unofficially available, Vidi is legitimate. The problem with Vidi is that it's almost too unconventional. You have to download a profile and install it on your device, which is unusual. You have to use a VPN to stream your recording to the internet, which is unusual. And you're using the internet at all times to stream your recording to a website to then download it, which just seems unnecessary. But that's a workaround Vidi have come up with so that they can get their application on the web store. Vidi also falls short in the audio recording department, whereby it will record the sounds internally, but you can't hear them on output. So you're not going to hear what you're recording in terms of game noise, sound effects and whatnot. Also, the microphone setup is very clunky, requires you to download an app and then up the volume level on that to make sure that it's not drowned out by the game sounds which you can't hear. Yeah, it's all a little complicated and that's what makes VD a bit of a tough sell. For a more detailed explanation of how this application works, there's a link on screen now, so check it out for more info. My personal recommendation is that Vidi is great for testing out live streaming direct on an iOS device, but for screen recording, it's a bit meh. So those screen recorders are what you might consider the biggest hitters in town right now. You may disagree with that and you're more than entitled to do so. But let's round up the rest of the screen recorders that are available. Coolpixel has been around for a long time, almost as long as Airshow, but it is behind a paywall if you want to do unlimited recording. $2 for three months, $4 for a year. So that pay barrier is already an issue when a certificate is going to get revoked for an application. And to be honest, whenever I've tested it, the frame rate has been absolutely terrible and there are audio lag issues as well. But if you want to try it, there's a link in the description. I still get people asking me about BB Rec and the answer is no. Just no, it's impossible to get now. Just, just leave it alone. Wasn't very good to begin with. Just stop. Stop. Video was a big favourite among many screen recorders because of its internal audio recording. However, it is still dead and has been for a long time. But with the advent of iOS 11 and its built-in screen recorder, does that open up the avenues for screen recorders to go into the App Store? A few of us have been nudging the developer and they're kind of interested. But don't get any hopes up. 
If you hear anything, I'll let you know. The Doctor Phone screen recorder is still kicking about, and by all accounts, it's a very accomplished screen recorder. The problem is, it's behind a massive paywall of $20, and I don't think anybody's going to want to pay that for one single screen recorder that uses a certificate that can easily get revoked. And for a whole raft of screen recorders, check out tweakos.weebly.com. Many of the screen recorders I've mentioned here do appear there, amongst others, but not many of them work. Worth a try. So that's the current state of the screen recording market, fractured as usual. But come September, October time, there is going to be a monumental shift. iOS 11, the official software update for iPads and iPhones and iPods, will have a built-in screen recorder. Let's take a sneak peek at what's to come. For obvious reasons, the built-in iOS 11 screen recorder is the easiest of the lot to acquire. You simply go to Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls, and halfway down the list of controls, you have the screen recorder, which you can add to your Control Center. Once it is added, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and you should see the new screen recording option. So obviously you are never going to have to worry about revoke certificates ever again on screen recorders because you'll always have this one to fall back on. As of yet, I'm not going to describe the iOS 11 screen recorder as feature packed. It doesn't have face cam, for example, or any other fancy stuff like that, but it does have internal audio recording. So if you turn the microphone audio off, it still records internal game sounds, which is brilliant. And as you might expect, when you finish a screen recording, it sends that video directly to your photos and there is no issue with playback. However, this is currently iOS 11 beta and the built-in screen recorder is riddled with bugs. The two biggest issues so far seem to be that for many people on certain devices, it never actually saves the recordings to photos. It just never gives you that notification, which I'm sure is damn frustrating. Another issue that everybody is experiencing at the moment is that it doesn't record in landscape orientation. What it seems to do is squash the image and then put it back into portrait, which means that you can't really flip it, you've got to restretch it, and that's quite difficult to do on an iOS device by itself and a pain on a video editor on a PC or a Mac. As it stands right now, I actually believe that the built-in iOS 11 screen recorder isn't as good as Airshow or Visorec because of the aforementioned bugs. And that's why I don't recommend you upgrading to iOS 11 beta at the moment. Wait for a couple more releases, or better yet, wait for the official release of iOS 11, which will be in September or October. Hopefully by that time, we should have a built-in screen recorder that everyone can be happy with. And as well as that, let's hope that because of this built-in screen recorder, it allows app developers to push stuff onto the App Store. And that wraps up this comprehensive and exhaustive look at the current state of screen recorders on your iOS devices. If you know of any more, let us know in the comments below and I may check them out. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. The Doctor Phone screen recorder is still kicking about and uh, the Doctor Phone screen recorder is still kicking a, the Doctor Phone screen recorder is still kicking out <laughs>